Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be using the TI-84 Plus calculator, and we're going to be doing a Poisson distribution problem. All right, so here it is. A recent study of robberies for a certain ge geographical region showed an average of one ro robbery per 30,000 people. In a city of 90,000 people, find the probability of the following. A, two robberies, B, at most, three robberies, uh, C, four or more robberies. All right, so let me show you how to do this on your TI-84 Plus calculator. Now, I know it's a Poisson distribution because it's, a, it's within a region. So when within a region, you're given an average, sometimes even a percentage um, of that particular region or area, whatever it is, you're gonna use um, Poisson distribution. So here, the average is going to be a little different because it says the average of it's the average of one robbery per thirty thousand. So in a city of ninety thousand, it's going to be three because three times thirty thousand gives you the ninety thousand, right? We know it's one per thirty thousand, so that would be uh, an average of three. So this is a distribution, so push second, and then the Varsh button, that's going to give you distributions. Now we're going to use the Poisson distribution, so uh, click the arrows down. All right, there it is. We're looking for an individual um, probability, so we're going to use uh, PDF. Uh, here the average is three. Now the X value is whatever probability that we're looking for. So we're looking for the probability of two robberies. So uh, using the arrow keys to navigate, I'm gonna push enter, push enter again. So the answer to that first one is a probability of 0 0.2 to I mean just do three decimal places now this one says at most three so at most three couldn't is zero one two or three it could be any of those so for that we're going to use uh, Poisson CDF so second, vars to get distributions. Use the arrow keys. I like using the arrow keys. And then um, Poisson CDF, we're gonna select that. It's pretty much the same thing. So average is three. The value here is going to be three. And then paste and then enter. So B is 0 0.647. Now this last one says four or more. So when you do cumulative distribution function, it's cumulative, it's adding them up. And what it's adding up is 0, 1, 2, three, all those different individual probabilities. So if I want the opposite, because it always does um, whatever the value is and below, if I want the opposite, I could take this probability and subtract it from one. So one minus, because this is um, three, I want the opposite four or more. So basically I use the uh, use the complementary rule to get the opposite. You subtract it from one 
complementary probability rule and then enter and so that would be around three decimal places 0 0.353 and that's it please like share and subscribe and if you have any questions uh, feel free to email me JD mathguy at gmail.com. Thank you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. All right.